Hi, welcome to the video on copying an angle using ruler and compass. Using ruler and compass only, copy each angle below. So this is angle H O P, and I want to copy it. So I will draw a ray or a segment to copy the angle onto. So there it is. And I'll mark the end of that angle with a dot so I could call. There's the point. Okay. So we take our compass and we place it at the vertex of the angle O. So O is the vertex. So I'll place it right there. And I will uh, draw an arc to cup both sides of the angle. So we can call, if we want, we can call this uh, A and B, so I can refer to them. And I go to draw the other one. So the radius is the distance of OB, OA. So we take our protractor, sorry, take our compass, like Place it at the vertex. This is going to be the vertex of the angle. And I'll draw an arc. And this is the same radius as the previous one that I drew over here, OA. Now you take your compass and you place it at B. And you stretch it out until you hit A. So there it is. So this is the distance from B to A. So let's place it here and cut it. So if we call this O prime, and this is the point that we're calling P prime, similar, same location as this one. So if we make this a B, this is, we make this an image of B prime. So this is an A, so this would be a prime. Now we join up O to A, that, or o, to, o prime to A prime, and we should have the angle copied. So if we call that H prime, so H O B, H prime, O prime, B prime should be the same size of angle. Each angle should have the same measure. So let's just check. The original angle, we're just checking using the protractor. We didn't draw it with the protractor. This angle right here is 50 degrees. Again, we're approximating by copying. We're not going to be right on, but you can see that this angle is also 50 degrees when we copy it. So let's copy another angle. So this angle is more than 90. 90 is right straight up through here. So this angle is over on the other side of 90, so 120, 130. So what we'll do, we'll draw a, a, a side of an angle, but we're going to draw the other angle and copy it on. So we'll let, do this like we did before. There it is. Now, uh, we can call this one, take this, uh, okay, this angle is going this way, so this is Y prime. So let's take this one. That's why, let's call this one Y prime. It's the image of this one. And this, say this to be X prime right here. So we take the compass, place it at the vertex of Y. We open it up. Don't make any difference what the distance is as long as it cuts, as long as it cuts the two sides of the angle. So there it is, one. Two is cutting there and there. So that means if I call this G prime and H prime, G prime, or let's, say, let's just say G and H, we do the primes after with this image. So we will place the, we did the compass at Y and drew an arc, there it is. So we'll do it at Y prime, because this, this is going to be the vertex at the angle, and we draw our arc. So there it is. Now keep going, because 
you know that the angle got to go out here more than 90. So if I stop there, it might not do it. So just keep going around and around. There it is. It should be there. So I come back and I put the compass at G and stretch it out to get the radius that's going to cut through H. So it looks like it's pretty good there. Again, the approximate. So that's... So I put it there and stretch it that way. It sees the same distance. Now, that means that H, H prime is going to be here. So I put it right here and draw an arc to cut the previous one. So there it is. Now I'll join that up. And there's the arc. It's going from Y prime out through. There it is. So, this one right here, you could say that's where the H prime is. This is the G prime, and this is W prime out here. So, there's the angle. That's the same size as this one. We copy the angle. And let's check to see if we're right. Again, that angle right there. Again, we're rotating this way just to make sure. So we measure roughly 125. So let's check this one at the vertex. And we should be close to 100, you know, approximately 125. So we copy the two angles. Now, C, draw an 80 degree angle using a protractor. So let's use a protractor. So we'll go down here and draw an 80 degree angle. So let's do this. And we'll use this end right here to draw the 80 degree angle. So here we go. I gotta use the protractor, so right on that dot, right along the line like we did. So I draw an 80, so we're going, I could go up this way but since my segment has come along here, I'll rotate this way. So 80 is right here. And join that up. And again, I have approximately, this is an 80 degree angle. So if I label that angle as P and a Q and a T or use any letters. So this is an 80 degree angle and I'm going to copy it. So if I'm going to copy that angle again I'm, i constructed the 80 now i'm going to copy an angle that's the same size same measure so I draw that so i'm going to call this start on this side right here this is q prime so this is where i'm drawing it from okay so p prime is over here somewhere right there and i take my compass and i put it at q I open it up to make sure that both sides of the angle, both rays are intersected. So there's the distance I'm going to pick. So I draw my arc. So I go over at Q, which is going to be the vertex of the new angle, which is Q prime. And I cut, draw an arc, which is a circle with the same radius. So there's the arc. Now, to keep everything straight, Let's call this, um, say, B prime. And this is, or it don't have to be a prime. Let's call it B, let's call it B and C. The primes are the images. Let's keep it straight. This is B and C. So, what I do to keep it straight, I take my compass and I put it at B. And I stretch it out to make sure it's going to intersect at C, the distance, the distance here. A little bit off, but again, just got to be, it looks pretty good. So I got the length of the segment BC. So that's right there on that arc. So this is, this is going to be my B prime. So I draw an arc to cut the previous one. There it is. And I take a ruler. And I join, there's Q, to where those two arcs intersect. 
and I should have my angle copied. Now, I've got to be careful and make sure that I go through. So I'm, I'm just a little bit careless there and off a bit. So maybe you need your pencil really sharp, really refined. So let's see if that angle is close to being copied. Let's see what's the measure of this one. The measure of this one is 80 that we did before. So this one should be an 80. Again, let's see if we got an 80. Pretty good. There's an 80 going up through, so we copy the angle. Okay. Now I made up a little tiny different question, but just something different. Uh, number two, we have two angles, ABC, and we have PQR, or sorry, PQT. So show using a compass and ruler only the sum of the angle ABC and PQT. Sum means you got to add them together. So, that means I have to copy each angle, but I have to copy one on top of the other. So let's take an angle, either angle, but I'm going to, there it is, let me take this angle right here. I'm going to take the angle PQT. So, I'm going to take this point right here and call this Q prime. So, I'm going to take my protractor, place it at Q, and I'm going to copy PQT. So there it is. Now I'm going to move it in to make sure I cut the angle, each side of the angle. And I don't have to be at P, I can move it in further. So here's the arc. So the angle is cut here and here. So I Q the vertex, I want Q prime to be my vertex, which is right here. So I'll draw an arc. There it is. So I gotta make sure, I know I'm swinging this far, so I'm gone far enough. So I go back and I'm just gonna give this, this is an X and a Y. I'm just doing that X and Y to show you. So I'm gonna get the length of this segment that goes from Y to X. So move that in y to x looks pretty good so place that right here and draw an arc so what i did really when i drew this one my p prime is here so this is the y prime because this is the arc that i have right here so this this distance here is equal to this distance so place it distance from y to x, placed it here, drew my arc, now I'll join from this point to q, which is my vertex, and I have my angle copied. And let's see if we did it right, just, just as a little check, quick. So that looks like it's a 40 degree angle rotating up from here, 40, and see if this one is a 40. Pretty good, yep, right on. Now I'm gonna copy the angle A, B, C onto that. So if I take this same arc that I have here, let's take this arc that I already have. Watch, let me show you. Take this arc that I already have. There it is, this, okay. So I take this arc and I swing it right out around, I guess. So I'm going to use that arc up here to copy angle ABC. So place the angle compass at B and cut the angle ABC twice each side of the angle. So there it is. It's cut. I cut the angle at say uh, E and H. So I get the length of the segment from E to H or H3, makes no difference. So open it up until it cuts it. There is a distance. So now, I'm copying it on top of this one to make it a join, so this is the angle here. So this other angle is swinging through here with this, so Q is the vertex of both of these angles. So I place it at right here with that distance of EH. 
and join up from Q to the Zark and we should have should have angle A, B, C is right here. So this is let's see these two arcs where they intersect that's um, Q I got Q and B and so that's what's the measure of this angle let me see Let's see the measure, make sure. I've got the angle copied. It looks like I got about 100 degrees there. Let's see if this one is copied right. Right along the edge. Right on 100. So that means if this angle is 40, and this angle is 100, and so I copied this angle as 40, copy this angle as 100, so that means the angle, if you want to stretch it out, and how I copied it, it makes no difference if I call this A prime here. Uh, and this is the other side, this is C prime. It's it's, this is both of them. So this is the angle that I want to get is 140. So I put my compass here and you can see that swinging this way, I have 140 degrees. So I copied the sum. Well, if I copy the sum by placing on top of each other, why don't I copy the difference? So, let's draw the big one first and put the small one inside of it. So, let's draw the big one and put the small one inside of it. Because they're different. So, remember, this is 100 and this is 40. So, their difference is 60. So, I'm going to draw the big one first and copy the small one inside of it. So here we go. And we can use, remember we use what? We use these arcs before. So let's see if this arc, there it is. Is this, are these two arcs the same? Perfect. So I'm gonna copy this angle uh, let's copy it right here. We can copy it backwards. It doesn't make any difference. Make sure I got, I moved it just, okay, it's okay. Now I get the distance. Open it out. E, H. So there's E to H. So I have the angle A, B, C copied. There it is. Going through this vertex. Use this point. So this is the angle uh, A prime, B prime, C prime. So there's B here. And uh, this is, we can say C is here, or C prime, and this is A prime. Now, we want to copy their difference, so that means I'm going to take this angle and copy it inside of here. So, take this, I already took this, take this arc here, and place it, the same arc, so you can see it's the same arc. So, I get this distance. Oh, y to x again yep yeah, looks pretty good and so I'm going to copy it right here so if I copy it so if I, this big angle right here is 100. I copy this angle here, so this angle right here is a 40. So this angle in here must be 60, which is the difference. So let's measure this angle here to see if I got a 60 difference.
and off a little tiny bit, but you can see that the 60 is going up here a little tiny bit off because of the inaccuracy of moving the paper and etc. etc. But we're around the 60, it's a little bit off. But you can see this is 100, and we drew it on this angle inside of here 40, so this is a 60. And if I measure it the other way, I still get the same discrepancy. And that's, I did it, oh, I got the paper moved, huh? I should have, should be the same, again, it's off the same. 60 is right here, so it's a little bit off. But if you're more careful, and you do it, uh, I'm looking down, not over the top of it. I'm uh, off a bit, so to draw a little tiny bit. But I just wanted to show, if you join the two of them together, you get the sum. If you put one inside the other, you get the difference. And that's uh, the video on copying an angle. And if you like my video on how to copy an angle, because I'm going to use that in some of the constructions in the next videos, uh, click on the like button and click on the subscribe button if you want to be a subscriber to my channel. Visit my math website, www.mathfullyexplained.com to find more information about me, my videos, and the content. And that's the content of my YouTube channel called Math Fully Explained. Notice just one word. Thank you for viewing my video. Hope the video has some help to you. Bye-bye.